What's going on, guys? Lockout Man here, back again with another podcast for you guys to enjoy. Uh, this time, in this episode of uh, the email, recruiter's email, uh, we got an email. Well, we've been, actually, we've been getting emails from this particular company way back in 2018 and the emails from this company just just really don't stop and you know you tell them down at the bottom if you want to unsubscribe from receiving emails or you call them up and say hey you know what about this company and they still don't give you the information that you know that you're looking for you know still being vague and everything like that and and they just uh, they just continue with the emails to entice you. It kind of makes me wonder about this particular company because I heard so many bad things about this company from from drivers and you know and from reading uh, reading the reviews online. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna get into it. We're going to get into it in this episode of Lockout Men Podcast. Sleep for me, huh? Big cheese got it locked, boy. Won't you let me all night? Yeah, me What's going on, guys? Lockout Men here. And welcome back to another episode of Lockout Men Podcast. The YouTube the truckers youtube channel for truckers that that don't have nothing else better to do but to watch me all day i appreciate it i appreciate it i try to bring some positive vibes for you guys even though even though it's just been bad for me in the last couple of weeks but i still want to bring the the positive vibes to you you know what i'm saying so let's get into it man so let's get into this episode of uh email recruiters man uh this particular recruiter emails me like on the like, like crazy i mean it's 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 like it's non-stop i mean I, I i sent in a request for them to stop i i called them a while back you know it just didn't just didn't feel right and the continuation of the emails that they keep sending me keeps making me think like Hmm. You guys seems to be a little desperate. You know what I'm saying? But don't you guys get that with with all uh trucking recruiting companies that they feel a little desperate, you know, to fill the seats, to fill to get somebody to 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 drive that empty truck. Why? Why is the retention is so low with these companies? Is it because y'all not treating them well? Is it because y'all not telling them what they inspect from the jump? Is it because of the money? Is it because of the is it because of the uh uh dispatchers, fleet managers? Whatever reason that you guys is losing drivers. I really think y'all should just take the time to see where it is that's causing the problem. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I mean, of course I'm a driver. You trying to entice me. I come in. I I I see all the bells and whistles and the and the hoodwinks and the and the jigabooing that you guys is doing. But then I once I come in and seeing how things are really run, yeah, yeah, it's it's kind of messed up. In this uh, in this one, we're gonna talk about we're gonna talk about KB Transport. Let me see if I can bring it up on the big screen. Yeah, KB Transport. There it is, man. There it is. Um. Minimum guarantee, which is $250 per week. Now, this email came to me way back. Uh, June. Yeah, this came to me 
June, oh, this, no, oh, my bad. This was recently, June fourth, twenty twenty, at ten forty seven. By and it came through by some guy named Valen, Valen, Valentine Romo, Romo. Cool name though. I like his name. That's a cool name. So, what what is it about KB? What is it about KB, man? I let me tell you. Let me tell you as soon as I get my uh as soon as I get my email back up. <laughs> uh hold on. All right. So what is it about KB? Let's 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 um let's go to the re more recent email that they sent me. This one right here says we can have you in orientation this week and get you a thousand dollar bonus paid in your first check. There is still time to apply and get the process and, and get approved and be here Monday. But you have to act now. Reasons to drive for K and B ability to fly to orientation. OK, that's good. Mileage guarantee. OK. Pay raises based on time with company. Okay. State of the art equipment. Okay. Full benefit package. Okay. Bonus opportunities. Choice of automatic and manual tractors. Enjoy $1,250 per week minimum guarantee. What are you waiting for? Exactly. What am I waiting for? Uh, not waiting for you guys, I can tell you that much. Not I, I, not waiting. Guarantee two hundred and fifty dollars. From what I understand, I mean twelve hundred or uh, uh, twelve hundred and fifty dollars. From what I understand, in order to receive that guarantee, you have to be available Monday through Sunday. I think it's Monday through Sunday or Monday through Friday. Now, if you just say that you, you know, you generated miles more than uh, 1250 then, of course, you're going to get paid the, the the top part of that. But $1,250, let us break that down. $1,250, uh, subtract about $300, will be about nine, be about $950 take home. Again, is $900 good for you guys? I mean, because, you know, some of you guys really haven't seen a $900 paycheck in a while. So it's $900, $950. Is that good for you guys? If that's good for you, then jump on this program right here. Because if you, let's say if you don't get the miles, if you don't get the miles, then you would get the guaranteed pay. But the thing is, you have to be available. So let's say you you was available all day Monday. And then all of a sudden, Tuesday morning at two o'clock a.m., they call you up and they want you to do a repower or they want you to do a, a short run load because somebody else couldn't do it. They call you up and say, hey, lockout, man, uh, we got a load for you. Uh, such and such, such and such, and it's going there, this, that and the other. Uh, bro, I've been up all day. I'm I'm trying to get some sleep right now. It's two o'clock in the morning, and I'm trying to get some sleep. And yeah, oh, okay. So what you're telling me is is that you turning down the load? Yeah, because I've been up all day and I'm trying to get some rest. Okay, but I, I you know, not to say that I'm not available until you know, later, later on in the morning, but unfortunately I'm not available now because I'm sleep. Is there any stipulations to that? Then they'll probably come back and say, okay, well, since you wasn't available at two o'clock Tuesday morning, uh, you, you know, you disqualify for the 1250 a week guarantee. And now you're stuck with you're stuck with getting bullshit loads at low miles and low pay just because you turned down that one particular load. 
But I don't know. I don't know. We we'll we'll probably find out. Uh I don't have a I don't have a phone number, but it says here it wants me to uh it wants me to, you know, call back or, you know, call the recruiters to, you know, get some more information. Uh let's see. How about this email right here? How about this one? Let's let's see. Let's see about this email right here. This is the email that I believe Guilty 718 got and he read it online. Here it says, uh, hey LaShawn, we haven't heard back from you in a while, and we don't want you to miss out on this opportunity. Plus, we think that you will be an excellent fit for our company, and we want you on our team. And then it shows like I'm typing back or something like that. So I supposedly had said, sorry, been busy. Can you tell me more about these opportunities? And then they te they text back saying, sure, we'll start you off at 50 cent a mile. And we will guarantee you, guarantee you a minimum of $1,250 per week. We also have multiple opp opportunities to earn more so that you can easily earn up to $65,000 a year in your first year. Don't believe it. Don't believe that. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. Do not believe $65,000 in your first year, because if you're a first year, if you're coming into a company in the first year and you're a new driver at that, you're not going to make, $65,000 in the first year. Maybe 40 on the top end and maybe 30 on the low end. But in the first year, you're not going to do uh 65 in the first year. You're not going to do 75 in the first year unless you are uh, maybe a 5 or a 10 year experienced driver that could come in, but it also got to depends on how much they're going to give you on a cent per mile. So at 50 cent cent per mile, which is good, but you try you you tend to think that if a company is offering you that amount of uh that amount for the miles then you can best damn good believe that the that the miles is not going to be there now it's funny that when i worked you know worked with previous companies i was making less money but getting more getting more miles and a better paycheck. And I talked to other guys that was making more money, but getting less miles and a fucked up paycheck. So is getting 50 cent CPM is good? Well, yes, it is. If you're getting the miles to go with it, you know what I'm saying? If you're getting the miles to go with it, then that's a good thing because 50 cent a mile ain't bad. 0.50 times, you know, average 3,000. That's about $1,500 a week. Let's take away 300 for expenses and taxes and stuff like that. You're still bringing home about a good $1,200. Take home. Take home pay. All right? So what they're offering you is 50 cent a mile, but you're not sure how many miles that you're going to average a week. But you're guaranteed a minimum of $1,250 with the subtract $300 from that. That brings home $950. Is that good for you guys? It says, uh, it says down here at the bottom, it says, great. We can, we can't wait to hear from you. Uh, a C A K B plus a thousand dollar bonus on your first paycheck if you can start ASAP. If you have any further questions or concerns, give us a call. And I believe that is exactly what we about to do. We about to we about to give KB a call and uh and talk about this email that I got and see what this guaranteed is about hello can be transportation what can i do for you uh yeah how you doing this is uh this uh shine man i i got i i got a bunch of emails from you guys um and 
And I'm just curious about the information that's 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 on it. So is it possible that uh, that I can that I can uh, ask a few questions about, you know, about about the emails that you guys sent? Uh, where are you out of, sir? Just uh, I'm out of sure that we are out there. That... I'm out of Ohio. Okay, okay. And how much uh, experience do you uh, did you say you have? I actually I didn't say, but I got five years. Okay, okay. All righty. What question do you have? All right. So explain to me how this uh, this guarantee works. <laughs> so as long as you are out from Monday to Monday, and no late low that is on your fault, uh, we still, you know, we're gonna want to guarantee you a twenty-five mile per week with the fifty cent. That's how we get to twelve fifty a week minimum. Okay, so we we looking at what uh, twenty-five hundred miles a week at at fifty Correct, cent yeah. and at fifty cent a minimum. But you said I gotta be mm-hmm. I gotta be available from Monday to Monday. How that work? Um, so with you being out of Ohio there, you know, we require you to be out two weeks out at a time and two days at home. So every week <clears throat> you're out seven days at a time. That's how the guarantee going to kick in. Okay. So is this uh Monday to Monday? Like I got to be available like 24 hours, Monday, Monday to Monday. No, no, you know, just, uh, <clears throat> You have ten hours a day that you uh you know you uh, uh legal to drive. Okay, so let's say for example, I was available for Monday. You guys didn't have nothing to give me, so I pretty much sat mm-hmm. that day. You know, ten hours is up. I got. I, you for that. Yep. <laughs> yeah, ten hours is up. I got my uh, I got my uh, you know, I got my time available to me. Somebody from dispatch calls me up at about two o'clock Tuesday morning and say, Hey, I got a, a reload for you or a dispatch for you or a low or a short mile run for you at two o'clock in the morning. And I'd say I'm not available because I'm sleep because I've been up all day Monday waiting for a load. Will I still get my, would I be, would I still get my guarantee if if I turn that down? Yeah, you, have, you know, we only uh, have you drive whenever it's uh, legal, you know, and uh, you have the time to drive it. But if you are, you know, available, you know, you have the time to drive it and you turn the load down, you refuse to take that, then we're not going to guarantee you that. Okay. Okay. See, that's mm-hmm. see that's the clarification that I that that I was looking for and the clarification that I need because if I'm up mm-hmm. all day Monday, man. I mean, if I'm if I'm available all day Monday, you know, uh, you know I'm pretty much up and pfft, nothing nothing comes through, and you know now I'm sleep, you know, getting my rest and everything, and then you know you guys pop up and say, hey, I got a load for you. Yada yada yada, and I turn around and say, "Well, you know, I've been up all day, and I can't drive overnight because you know I'm tired." But you know, I I neglect, I I negate my 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 twelve fifty guarantee because technically the hours shows that I'm available to drive, but me personally wasn't. That's that's basically how you guys go. You guys go by go by the availability of the time that's left on the clock that's available to drive? Correct, sir. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Uh, so 50 cent CPM, uh, is that across the board for everybody that's coming in regardless of of experience? Correct, yep. As long as they have six months verified, that's what they have. That's oh, okay. what they get. Okay, so what if a driver has like, you know, ten years of experience? He's still coming in at fifty cents. Still fifty cents, yeah. Yes, yeah, sir. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, what about this bonus that you guys that that you guys uh that you guys offering? How 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 that worked out as far as us getting it on so our first? Is- huh? 
Yeah, that is for this Monday orientation, and it's for two days orientation pay. That is the thousand dollar paying right out on your first paycheck. Uh, <clears throat> okay, so that mean I got so that mean I got to be available to come in, uh, be available to come in this Monday or something like that. Correct. Yep, that is yep that is for this Monday. Uh, we usually get our driver out here a day before that, just so you can get ready. Okay. Okay. Uh, what 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 other things that I'm missing in this email that 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 you can tell me about? Because I'm seeing I'm seeing other things too, like uh a ability to fly to orientation. So you guys that get me out to orientation via via plane. How about if I just want to drive there? Yeah. Would you would you uh would you reimburse for the for the for the rental car and the fuel? Yeah, we, we yeah we can reimburse that on your first paycheck. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, as far as the equipment goes, y'all, y'all a little bit vague on the equipment. So can you, can you uh, open that up for me? What what type of equipment that I get and what's what's all in it? Fifteen to twenty free Lana Cascadia. That uh, is uh, all what we have. Oh, uh, okay, uh -huh. okay. What's all the amenities in it? It says state of the art. Uh, CB radio, Qualcomm, APU, power inverter, and pre-fast in it. Oh, okay, 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 okay. And you guys still offer a choice of automatics and manuals there, huh? Correct. Yep. Yep. Oh, Whatever okay. you comfortable in, we'll put you in for that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Like I said, uh, I mean, you guys, like I said again, you you, you guys been sending me emails like like crazy, and I, you know, I I just now, I I said to myself, I I just now come around and 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 ask about ask about the emails um so if the minimum that you guys guarantee is 2500 uh 2500 a week what's the average that a driver can actually get a week 28 to uh, 3000 plus a week is what our fleet wise average about oh okay okay all right uh again like i said uh is there anything else that i'm missing here in this email because it's kind of i don't know man it, it's kind of i mean it's kind of it feels like it it feels like i'm being pressured like you guys send me an email i mean let me see the last email uh, let me see you, you guys the one that just, you sent you sent me, me one, one you, second you, here i got another call here okay just hold okay okay Five minutes later. Thanks for holding there. What was the question there? All right. So, like I like I was saying, the the last. I mean, I I, I got an email from you guys like on the fifteenth, on the thirteenth, on the tenth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, in the last in the last one yeah. yesterday. It, it's like, uh, it 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 just feels like, you know, hey, come on in. We 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 got this for you. So. What what am I missing here as far as what I'm not seeing in the email, man? I mean, what what else this company can offer me if I decide to 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 jump on with you guys? That's basically what we offer is uh, in the email there, and you know all the questions that you asked me, you know, uh, for the whole time that we've been talking here. So I'm not sure, you know, what's all the questions that you you know you have in mind. But basically, you know, that's all that we uh, we offer in right now. All right. All right. Well, hey, thanks, man. I, you know, like I said, I, I appreciate the time. I was just, like I said, you know, I, I read the email and, you know, I just needed some, just needed some clarification on it, man. That's all. So, uh, okay. I appreciate you, man. Thanks. What? Well, there you guys have it. KB. <laughs> yeah. So my my thing is this, you know, you got questions and concerns, you know, you, you call up the recruiter and, and you, you, you ask for the, uh, you know, at, question the email, uh, le, you know, le, legitimately, and you still feel that the information that was given to you is still vague. It just feels like you're leaving 
something out. You know what I'm saying? It just feels like, you know, you guys just sending me emails at the emails at the emails. And I finally come around to call. I mean, finally come around to ask you about, you know, about what's good with the company. You know, what what makes this company differ from all other companies out there so that I can make the proper decision to come and and probably retire from you guys. I just didn't get that in today's uh today's episode. So if you guys is interested in KB uh and you feel that $950 a week is good for you uh being available from Monday to Monday. He said Monday to Monday. Uh, he wants you to be two weeks out and two days home. If you're good with that, then give them a give them a call, you know, and hopefully you'll probably get another recruiter that's, you know, that might be a little bit more open in the in the talking. So, you know. All right. Well, that's it for this episode. That's it for this episode of uh of um. Uh, I don't know what I don't know what to call this, but this is it for this episode of Lockout Man Podcast, uh, the email, the uh, recruited email edition. So, if you guys are interested in finding out more about any uh, any companies out here, and you have an email that was sent to you that you want to get a little bit more clarification on, send it over to me over at Lockout Man Podcast at gmail dot com. I will go over it. I will read it. I will see, you know, critique it and see if give them a call and get an idea on what the company is about. Um, if you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a like. It does work. And if you support me, make sure you hook me up with some coffee. The description, the link is in the description below. With that said, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share and hit that bell for more. Make sure you hit that bell. All right. I am Lockout Men, and this is Lockout Men Podcast. And somebody going to play us out. I don't know who it is, but we're going to find out shortly. You guys take it easy, and I'll come back with you guys in another video. Peace.